welcome to the practice questions and assessments for the fourth lecture of modifiers in case you have not gone through the concepts request you to go back to that lecture before coming out to these questions let's start with the first question correct the following sentences now the question says the wallstein study indicates that even after a decade young men and women still experience some of the effects of a divorce occurring when a child now i request you to pause the video think through this question before coming up coming out here and listening to the explanations now i'll i'll go to the question and read it out again the wallstein study indicates that even after a decade young men and women still experience some of the effects of a divorce occurring when a child so who's divorce so who is experiencing the problem it is the young men and women still experience some of the effects of a divorce so the divorce must have happened much before because even after a decade they are experiencing this which means the divorce is not occurring now so it should be it should have a modifier that distinguishes the fact that divorce occurred when they were children so occurring when a child is gone occurring when children is gone that occurred when a child doesn't make sense because you are talking about young men and women so this is plural so the only option that talks takes care of that is this option d when it says that occurred when they were children they refers to young men and women and children so right answer has to be d i hope you understood this let's go on to the next question in this question in his research paper dr frosch medical director of pain whitney clinic distinguishes so you are distinguishing differentiating so let's identify how many elements is he differentiating differentiating mood swings which may be violent so that's point number 1 without their being grounded in mental disease from genuine from genuine manic depressive psychosis which means there are two elements which are being distinguished so there are two mood swings that the author is referring to so whenever you're distinguishing between two elements you will have to use the word between so just by that logic i can see that option c and d have between so i can eliminate e b and a between c and d now let's let's have a deep dive into both these options between mood mood swings which may be violent so what is this which referring to mood swings absolutely right may be violent without being grounded and genuine depressive psychosis this looks to be a right answer but let us confirm through option d between mood swings perhaps violent now one this is uncertain since is already distinguishes distinguishing this point of uncertainty won't fit into the structure therefore this option is incorrect and the right answer has to be option c i hope you understood this question let's move on to the next one in the next question it says while some acc academicians believe that business ethics should be integrated into every business course others say that students will take ethics seriously only if it would be taught as a separately required course okay so it talks about the fact that some academicians believe that ethics should be a part of the teaching curriculum so let's understand this uh my when i'm doing such questions i always look at words which give me an indication of modifiers so only now let i'll focus on the word only if it says only if it would be a taught if it would be taught as a separately required course now the only problem there is in the question is only if it would be taught as a separately required course would be taught and the question is in present tense so this is in future so this is gone only if it is taught so the focus of only if it is taught so teaching is the focus which is which looks to be the right answer let's look at the third one only if it is taught if it is taught only so this only is now modifying as a course which is incorrect because the only has to modify teaching if it was taught now this was is incorrect because the question has to be in present tense if it would only be taught as a required course so this is again uncertain future and therefore doesn't fall into the category of the right answer right answer definitely has to be option b that has to be the right answer because here only is modifying teaching which is the focus of the question 
let's move on to the next question the professor's consistent late arrival arrival is a noun how is he arriving late so late is an adjective how late consistent so this has to be an adverb so that's the point i need to understand that this word has to be an adverb but consistent is an adjective so turn it into an adverb it will be consistently and the only option which has that is option c which says the professor's consistently late arrival is offset somewhat by the remarkable quality of his lectures another option which has consistently is this but here if you see it seems arriving consistently is offset so consistently is not modifying arrival in d which makes it incorrect therefore the right answer has to be option c i hope you understood this point let's move on to the next question in this next question until the end of second world war comma the german army employed the u boat to attack both military or civilian watercraft now if you remember the concepts we discussed that dangling modifiers are in the form of sentence comma sentence where this first part of the sentence doesn't make sense let's check that here until used until the second world war so what is the point that is missing here what was used the first noun phrase tells me it is the german army is the german army used or are the u boats being used you will realize it is the u boat that is being used so that's the error in the sentence so it has to be a u boat that comes after the comma so this option is gone this option is gone now you have left with b c and d the u boat was employed by the german army to attack both military and civilian watercraft looks to be the right answer let's check the other the u boat employed the german army it seems that the u boat is employing the army which is not correct so this is gone the u boat has been employed has been brings a flavor of present which is wrong the question has a reference to second world war therefore it would need past tense and because of which this option is also wrong so the right answer is option b that the u boat was employed by the german army to attack both military and civilian watercraft let's move on to the next question before its independence in 1947 before its independence who is getting independence is britain getting independence or india getting independence that's the first point so the first word after the comma has to be india and not britain so with that logic you eliminate a and b now if you look at c d and e it says before its independence in 1947 india was ruled by britain as a colony it's now this is where the problem is it seems that the rule happened by britain as a colony so that is wrong that's a wrong ambiguous structure let's look at d before independence in 1947 india had been ruled now this had been tells you it is right because you are talking about before independence had been ruled as a colony by britain now this is very clear which what is this which referring to britain again clear relinquished power only after a long struggle so this looks to be the right answer let's look at the last one also before independence in 1947 india had been a colony of the british who relinquished power had been ruled as a colony so here in d option as a colony by britain follows the same problem in option c so d also needs to be eliminated if you look at e as a construction that's very very clear before independence in 1947 india had been a colony of the british who who are these who the britishers relinquished power this has to be the right answer therefore in this question the answer has to be option e let's move on to the next question although covered in 11 inches of snow again i am looking this question as a dangling modifier because i see sentence comma sentence so if i'm seeing sentence comma sentence i'll use the same logic the first sentence should not make sense what is the first sentence 
although covered in about 11 inches of snow. What is the point that is missing? What is covered? in about 100 inches of snow. Right now from the question, it seems that the aviation officials are covered, which is wrong, obviously. What is covered is the fact that you're referring to the runway. So aviation officials is gone. This is gone and this is gone. Now you're left with B and D. Let's look at B. Although covered in about 11 inches of snow, the runway conditions. Now it is not referring to the runway, it is referring to the runway conditions. Are the conditions covered in 11 inches of snow? No. The runway is covered in 11 inches of snow. That makes the point of B wrong. Let's come to C. Let's come to D. The runway was. So now you're referring to the runway that it is covered in 11 inches of snow. Was in acceptable condition during the emergency landing according to aviation officials. Now this makes a lot of sense and therefore the answer. I hope this question is clear to you. Let's move on to the next one. Now we have reached advanced level of questions, so it will need a lot of coincided concepts. Let's look at the first one. Erasmus's tomb lies inside the Basil Munster located in Switzerland, an architectural monument which having survived medieval earthquakes and remains one of the Switzerland's most well-known buildings to this day. Now. There are two, three things which you need to understand. Point number one is what is this architectural monument referring to? Now, in this case, it seems to be Switzerland, which is wrong. So I'll have to figure. So option number A is gone. Erasmus tomb lies inside the Switzerland Basil Munster and architectural monument. Now, this looks to be correct because the Basil Munster is the monument that survived. This that is referring to the monument, which is also looks correct survived medieval earthquakes and remains. So this looks to be an answer. Let's look at C. Switzerland's Basil Munster, an architectural monument that survived, houses Erasmus tomb. Now houses Erasmus tomb seems to be modifying earthquakes, which is wrong. So this is gone. The Basil Munster in Switzerland, an architectural monument. Now here the same problem, architectural monument is referring to Switzerland, so that's gone. The tomb of Erasmus being housed inside Switzerland's Basel Munster. This is unnecessarily worded. The word, always remember in advanced questions, the concise the option, the better is the answer. If it is too verbose or worded, then it is definitely a wrong answer. So that is also gone. With that logic, your answer has to be option B. It's a very good question. Kindly look through the options again and revise it before you move on to the next one. Now the next question says, published in Harlem, published in Harlem, what was published in Harlem? Is the owner and editor published in Harlem? No, publish has to refer to some book or some journal or some magazine. So option A that way is gone. Option B says published in Harlem, two young journalists. Are the journalists being published? No. Published in Harlem, the messenger, messenger, not the italic messenger tells me that it has to be a book, was owned and edited by two young journalists. Now it's very clear, owned and edited means this has to be a journal, looks to be the right answer. Let's read a D. The messenger was owned and edited by two young journalists, till here it's okay, Chandler Owen and A. Philip Randolph, who would later make his reputation. Now what is this his referring to? Because here you have two nouns, Chandler and Philip. And this is singular and this is plural. So that's the mismatch. So that is wrong. Similarly, option E says the owner and editor being two journalists, Chandler and Philip Randolph, who would later make his reputation. Again, the same problem. His, but the reference has plural, Chandler and Randolph, which you are not sure which one it is referring to. So that's a wrong reference. Therefore, the answer has to be option C which says published in Harlem, comma, The Messenger. So The Messenger was published in Harlem, owned and edited by journalist Randolph, owned and edited by two young journalists. And this guy Randolph made his reputation as a leader. So this sentence is very clear and unambiguous. Therefore, the answer. I hope this is clear. Hoping to elevate some of the financial burdens of a growing population. Again, this sentence is in the form of this. 
hoping to alleviate some of the financial burdens of a growing population what is missing who is hoping that i don't know what is the first word property taxes is the property taxes hoping or is the government hoping the county government you'll realize it's a county government so all options with property taxes are eliminated automatically you are left with three options c d and e let's look at it one by one the country government raised property taxes by an 11% increase see if, if you have already said raised i know it is increased then saying increase just makes it redundant and redundant options have to be eliminated in one of the next lectures in the series we will also talk about redundancy and how to remove redundancy in question let's look at d the county government last year raised by 11% property taxes raised by 11% property taxes very unambiguous structure so eliminated the country government raised what property taxes by 11% last year now this makes a lot of sense that the what was raised was the property taxes by how much 11% last year and therefore the answer has to be option e i hope you have understood this this brings us to the end of the practice and assessment questions i hope this topic of modifiers gave you a lot of confidence till now you have covered all four areas stay tuned to the last lecture of this sentence correction series hope to see you soon in the next video thank you so much